Cronin Graft is another exciting new technology found in KeyCreator's CAD-CAM software. Coupled with KeyCreator's sophisticated real-time feature discovery and face logic tools, Cronin Graft allows for the decomposition and relocation of features and sets of faces into new component solid or surface geometry, either by copying or cutting the geometry of interest. As with all cre key creator functions, prune and graft can be used on both native as well as imported geometry. A very important consideration when reworking legacy data or preparing models for downstream operations such as manufacturing or analysis. These tools provide an important new level of design reuse. They are simple, powerful, intuitive to use when compared to traditional parametric modeling schemes. Let's take a look at this technology. We begin with an imported CATIA-4 aerospace part. By invoking Key Creator's real-time discovery, we can see various features in this part, including fillet blends, pockets, bosses, holes, etc. Next, using face removal tools, we will eliminate some features, such as the holes and small fillet blends you see here. This will enable us to create a new prune feature as a solid versus a surface part. Now we will prune two pockets and one bump feature from this part. Bump features are combinations of other features enclosed between two sets of faces. In this case, several holes with fillet blends of different sizes, all recognized as a single feature. Once we prune the pockets and bump feature, we move the main body out of the way Key Creator has created four healed solids where before there was only one. This is very useful for many applications including electro design, manufacturing, and preparing analysis models. Now we put them back into position and blank the prune bodies. We can use them at a later time. Now we shall look at the graft function. We prune off one of the tines into a new solid. We use the graft function to dynamically paste the prune body onto new locations of the original part using precise positioning controls. Notice how we can keep pasting additional copies from a single prune feature. As you can see, pruning graft is a very powerful tool for design reuse. And keep in mind, this is all being performed on a dumb imported solid. In the next example, we shall look at a casting part and how pruning graft technology can be further used for redesign. First, we will prune off a pattern of ribs and holes using Key Creator's intelligent feature pattern discovery, an extremely powerful option only found in Key Creator. We then eliminate extra ribs and holes and then reposition the remaining holes by rotating them. We now add back the ribs and subtract the modified holes from the original part.
This is a very quick and intuitive way to modify parts without having to use complex history-based features or constrained sketches typically used in parametric modelers. Now we will defeature the boss by removing the fillet blends you see on the boss edges. We then prune the boss feature and reposition several copies using the graph technology. Again, notice the dynamic handles for dragging the boss feature along the body to reposition it precisely where we want it. Next, we shall decompose this model by removing the outer hole pattern, a pocket, and some additional hole features. This is yet another example of the powerful pattern feature recognition tools within Key Creator. We quickly take a look by moving the main part body out of the way and look at the decomposed uh, bodies. In the last step, we will remove a copy of the core, again using our powerful bump feature recognition. Flip this part over and extract two more electrode components. After isolating those two features, we simply move the main body out of the way so that we can see the electrodes that we've created. In the final example of a sheet metal panel, we will see how the cut option in graft works, not only on prune features, but also by extracting feature sets on the fly and moving them to new locations. First, we prune out the slot feature and then use the graft cut option to relocate additional copies of this cutout. Now we will use the graft function to directly relocate the lower cutout. In this case, we do not need to prune the geometry. Rather, we simply select a set of faces to move. With this approach, we can relocate features and faces on the fly. And likewise for the remaining cutout features, whether we choose to prune them first or not, we can graft new cuts anywhere on the model as desired. In summary, pruning graft is a superior new technology to make design reuse and downstream model preparation much more intuitive, quicker, and user-friendly. Thank you for watching this presentation on Key Creators Prune and Graft Technology.